Hey guys, it's Danny. Today we are attending to my jewel orchids and there's quite the disaster on my table right now. Yeah, the jewel orchids that I have here that I need to repot are not in the best condition, to be fully honest. That's why we're making a video on it to see what we can do about it. So I have here lots and lots of cuttings. I did some cuttings myself. Some are involuntary cuttings. You will see what I mean. But anyway, these orchids need attention, so let's get to work. So before we start, don't forget to give this video a like if you end up enjoying it. And why not subscribe? I post multiple times a week. Just don't forget to turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. But if you're feeling extra about it, do consider further supporting my channel by becoming a member, using the affiliate links down below, checking out the merch, or using the super thanks option down below. Ooh, I said that in one breath. Can you imagine? Finally, after so many years, I got my little poem down writing. What should we start with? Oh, let's start with something that I posted this week, which gathered quite the comments in the comment section. And this is my order to Secret Garden. This is my orchid from Secret Garden. You remember the jewel orchid that I didn't unpack? Look at that. Are we looking good? No, we're not looking good. And actually, I got quite a few comments from you guys saying that you weren't really all that happy with what you received from this nursery. Uh, wow, yeah, I have to say my Phalaenopsis not looking good. This girl not looking good. I'm not 100% happy with what I received either, which is quite sad. Uh, but yeah, I really wasn't expecting so many of you to already have ordered from Secret Garden and not be happy. I shall keep that in mind for the future because 50 euros transport, man. I'm trying to keep a smile on my face. You might not see it, I'm trying to smile. But it's 50 euros transport. It's too much. It's too. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And if I don't even get a proper orchid, no. By the way, this is the Dicia Discolor uh, Ambrosia. And it was actually three stems plucked in a pot, this pot, which is very heavy. I'm gonna use a different type of soil for it. One of the stems, even though it has roots, it started to yellow. I don't know why. We're gonna cut the flower spike. The stem is okay. Even if it loses the leaves, it's fine. It can sprout a new growth. And one of the stems didn't even have roots. I see it starting to produce a tiny little root. So what I did was I put them in water. This hydrates them super fast. The one that I kept in soil looks okay, not as hydrated. But the first thing you do when you have a broken stem, you make sure that the cut is clean. It's not calloused over. So if it has a layer of dried material, cut again, put it in water, and it's gonna hydrate straight away. Ladicias are terrestrial orchids. They act more like stem plants. Should I call them like that? So they can actually be propagated as stem cuttings in water. So first and foremost, what I wanna do, are you sanitized? Let's make sure you are. I usually sanitize my tools and then I put them back, but you never know. I'm gonna cut away the flowers just to reduce the amount of stress, even though some are buds, this orchid is stressed. There we go. And then I shall pot all of these stems together yet again in this low pot. And the potting mix that I'm using is an orchid mix that I find locally, which is dreadful for Phalaenopsis orchids in my opinion, because it has peat of all things. But uh, it's very good for terrestrial orchids because they are terrestrial, they like soil. But it has a decent amount of fillers like bark and stuff that makes it quite airy. So I do like this mix for terrestrial plants. Not all cuttings are the same length, so some will be buried deeper. With Lodicias, you don't have to worry about burying your orchid. Whatever part of the stem gets buried, it will create roots and new shoots, and it's fine. This one, I really hope she can get herself hydrated with this little stump of a root that she has. It didn't used to be there, it developed in the past week. I also placed it in a tinier pot because really there's no need. They don't create big roots and actually this being a Ladicia, it will start to spill over. So ideally you would want something wide but shallow as a pot. It's okay for now. She's gonna sit here because I don't have anything shallow. <laughs> Let's also make a tag. And we're done with this one. All right, next up we have Makotis Patola variety amber. Does it actually look like Makotis Patola? Not really, let me show you. So this is my Makotis Patola 
And this is the variety amber. Do we notice any similarities? No. I think this is mislabeled. If you know more, let me know in a comment. But I believe it's a hybrid. It looks like an ectochylus or something like that. I might be totally off. Oh my gosh, this one is so pretty. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. <laughs> So this is one that I purchased in Amsterdam and the roots were rotten. So I put it in water and it started to create brand new little nubs. It's also really hydrated. I think it is time for it to go in a pot. This one is too tiny, obviously. So again, we're gonna use one of these. Out of all orchids that I have, these are the only orchids that I would put in water, just so you know. <laughs> so the same type of thing. I'm trying to bury as much of the stem as possible as everything that has contact with moist soil will create roots. Now, I'll be honest, I do have some plants. Plants? No, plans for these jewel orchids. I wanna do a sort of a terrarium with jewel orchids. I just need one of my aquariums to get empty. <laughs> Doing some changes to my tanks, you're gonna see on my aquarium channel. If you follow it, you know already it's Danny MOG. Thinking to change the name, I don't know. I feel like in my YouTube history, I changed names of second channels so often that is just annoying at this point. So I don't know, I'm keeping it Danny MOG. And I chose that name because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the channel. But now that I settled on everything aquariums, I might actually change it to you know, Danny's shrimps. <laughs> that sounds like I'm a restaurant. Uh, Danny's bettas and shrimps, I don't know. I'm focusing on nano stuff. I love shrimps and I have big plans with breeding shrimps and stuff and I also love bettas. So maybe something along that line. I digress, but yeah, I have a tank with a crayfish right now and I wanna change her tank. I wanna move her in the house because I wanna, we actually wanna see her more often. And her tank, is a little iffy to be honest. The glass is a little thin for my little heart to handle. So I wanna transform that into a terrarium. And I was thinking all terrestrial orchids, maybe some paths. So maybe paths and jewel orchids. Until then though, I do need to pot them up. I don't know when I'm gonna be done with that tank. Could be a month from now. So they should be in soil and I definitely can reuse the soil. I'm gonna use the same type of soil in the tank. So that's the plan with these guys. And I think it's gonna look very pretty on my Visjo shelves. Anyway, this one is done as well. Look how pretty she is. I really love this orchid. This is the first orchid that I found in Amsterdam and I'm so happy about it. I was over the moon. So I'm gonna go water it come back with the other orchids. I have one that I found locally that I need to show you, she's special. Alrighty, next up, this is one that I found locally and because, oh brother, she was stuck in this pot, they sold it to me like this. Right, so I posted a short about this. Oh, she stinks, oh that poor orchid, it's full of mold. Okay, so I posted a short and I asked you, hey, what is this? Because it looks like a Ladisia, but it kind of doesn't at the same time. I think it's something special. And it is, it's a hybrid. Oh boy, I missed the name. I identified it, Ludis, Ludochylus. I think it's Ludochylus, something like that. You're gonna have the name on the screen. It is a hybrid, you guys. And it is a Ludisia that has much less veins, but the leaves are broader and they're more substantial somehow. I don't know if you noticed, but it does not look like a normal Ladisia. So yay, I found something special locally. Now, what do we do when the orchid is a mess? We kind of separate it slightly just so we get to pot it however we want and just, so, oh no, I broke a new growth. And just so we remove some of this potting mix, which is already going bad, it stinks, it smells awful. There are so many growths hidden here that I need to be very careful how I remove this. Anyway, she's gonna produce even more growth, so I'm not worried. So I used to have some shallow pots, but not anymore. If you ever have something like this, the best thing to do is to go to the flower shop and find yourself a wide pot, shallow and wide pot, and you can contain all of this mess and it can end up looking spectacular. I can insert some photos here of a really nice display of Ladisia in a shallow pot. Now she's on Ruli and I can see why she was not happy quite at all. All right, so I guess this one we're gonna pot in this pot and the other cuttings into something else. And by the way, that tank that I have in mind is 
pretty big and it can definitely accommodate Lodicias, which tend to grow quite big. It's an 82 liter tank. That's 20 gallons. For those of you in the US, I am uh, starting to become more knowledgeable in the Imperial measuring system. <laughs> Not really. So yeah, with Ludicias, if you were thinking you can grow them under those glass cloches, they will outgrow the cloches really fast. They are, I do believe, the biggest jewel orchid, the most unruly of them. I personally prefer the tinier, more compact growth, but I have to say a really nicely grown Ludicia looks wonderful. And these growths will sit here. Stop laughing at me, I'm doing my best. The good thing is it doesn't take long to pot or repot or unpot Odysseus because you don't have to remove all of the soil. And ta-da, we are done with this one. Now, there is a cutting here which is absolutely not rooted and it's getting dehydrated. So, let me show you what I'm gonna do. We are going to make another cut like so. And then we're gonna stick this in water and we're gonna leave her here until she produces some roots. And if you were wondering how much water, I will add just a little bit more water to this. The important thing is that the bottom of the stem sits in water, but also some of the nodes because it's from here where roots will be created. Do we see we have some segments here? Yeah, these are the places where roots will come. So if you can put them under water as well, that's fine. If you cannot, well, try to. <laughs> And the last ones, these, I did them myself. I made some cuttings, why? Well, if you remember, these are the ones from Amsterdam and they were actually very long, very stretched. I think the plants were stretching for light or something. And as I was saying, I like more compact growth. So what I did was I cut the stems. I'm just gonna leave this here because I don't wanna break it. I put them in water. We also have a root, let me show you. Just so they can root, let me see. A little tiny root nub in here, that's what we want. And what we end up with is a more compact part of it and a bottom part which will propagate and will give us more babies in case that is what we want. And that's exactly what I wanted. So now it is time to pot these guys up and we don't need very big pots. Also, no need to seal cuts or anything. What is wrong with me? I'm making such a mess today. All right, so this is the upper part. I'm gonna create a new tag and these, I might just put them in one pot altogether so we don't create a million pots. So this one is the Nectochylus Bermanicus. There we go, very nice. And the same thing with this one. Oh, look at the root of this one. Let me show you. Do we see? This is what we want. And if left in water, they will continue to grow those roots, but it's better for them to be in soil. So we wanna cover that root entirely. Otherwise it will dry and we don't want that. It's also okay to press a little bit on the soil. And this one is a Nectochylus siamensis white center green. And all of these cuttings that I still have here, I will actually place them in one pot, all of them. And they already have side shoots. Let me just show you. This is a side shoot, it's gonna be another plant. So I'm going to place them a little bit further apart. Oh yeah, they do have side shoots. I actually do remember what they are, so I don't think I'm gonna need the tags. But can you see how stretched these stems are? And I checked photos on the internet, they don't look like that, they're not supposed to be tall. So maybe it was a light thing. Maybe they do stretch for the light. It never happened to me, even in very low light situations. So I don't know why they stretched so much. Alrighty, so with this done, we are pretty much done. And I'm so happy about it because they were just sitting on my shoulders. I needed to address them and I didn't know when, but I'm happy we did this now. So let me clean up a little bit my table and we're gonna do the outro. And there we have it everyone, it is Christmas time. For whatever reason, I just put them all in golden and red pots. This is what I had at hand. And these orchids look like something you would decorate your house with at Christmas. I don't know why. Don't they? Is it just me? I don't know. But yeah, it's very Christmassy my table right now. We're all done. We forgot about one. I don't know how. 
one from Amsterdam, two Anectochylus from Sanus. Okay, she's just going to get plucked into soil just like the other ones. This one I didn't cut, I didn't do anything, I just re-rooted it in water and she's gonna get potted and that's it. You didn't miss anything. I don't know how I forgot about it. But oh my goodness, you guys, if you have a Ludicia or a kid, just put it in a red pot. You have multiple Ludicias, put them in red and golden. They just go, don't they? Why do they go so well? I don't know. But it feels very, very cozy, doesn't it? Righty, let's end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned for the next update. Will it be a terrarium? Will it be Christmas? I don't know. We're, we're just gonna see Christmas in July. That was a song? What was that Christmas in July? Am I making up stuff? I'm blabbing. Let's end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you're into aquariums and betas and shrimps and stuff, check out my second channel, Danny MOG, linked down below. Alrighty, with that said, I'm off. Bye. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Thank you.